Hey everyone, welcome back to Walt and Sarah's channel. Today we're going to be going over some basic embroidery applique styles. I'm going to show you three different things that I use for applique. First being an HTV glitter vinyl. The second will be felt. And then the third thing is going to be 100% cotton, the same material that I'm applying these items to. So you're not missing anything here. All I'm doing is outlining where the material is going to be attached. Also bear in mind that I created these files on my machine itself. So they do not line up perfectly when we do our satin stitch around. Do not get caught up on little minor details. Right now we're just focusing on how we apply these different materials. But starting off, we're going to use the HTV glitter vinyl. All I'm doing now is I cut off a piece around the same size as my square, as close as I felt comfortable cutting it, and then I remove that plastic covering. That's like the number one thing that people don't tell you. You have to remove the plastic first. The very first thing I ever tried to applique was a snowflake with glitter, and I left the plastic on, and let me tell you, it was a bear to remove. I do believe I ended up just tossing the whole thing and starting over trying it without the plastic, and it worked perfect. So... Trust me, just take off the plastic and then sew your applique. After you sew it down with your first stitching, I go through twice. And the reason I do that is because it makes it a lot easier to peel. I know it looks like I'm struggling right now, but that's because I still have the hoop on the machine, um, which I should not. I should have removed it just to make it easier, but here we go. So next I'm going to take my little iStoyo handheld mini iron. You might have the Cricut brand, whatever, and I'm going to iron it on for the recommended type. So easy peasy there, and we're going to move on to felt. Now this is machine washable felt. I got it, I, well, I picked some up from Hobby Lobby, and I also found out that Joann's has a larger variety. Now you see me going through twice with the stitch, and that is because my bobbin ran out. So I had to add another bobbin in there, refill that, and then here I am just stitching it again. So just ignore the fact that I had to do it twice. That's just my bad because I ran out of bobbin in the bottom. The best part about using the felt is even though it's thick, it's still kind of lightweight and I don't have to hold it in place. So that's awesome. Unlike the heat transfer vinyl, you actually have to hold that in place. With the felt, you can just kind of throw it on there. Once it starts stitching, it self levels. As with any applique, you want to try to get as close as possible. I was not using the proper scissors there, but you do want to try to just cut it as close as you can. Now the next material we're using, this is Peppa Pig here. This is 100% cotton. This is another one where I didn't have to hold it in place because it self levels. Again, the riskiest one you're doing is the HTV where you kind of have to hold it there or you can even tape it down. You just want to make sure that your tape is not in the way of the needle hitting it. And same thing as always, just trimming it as close as possible without actually snipping your stitches. Now you'll see here where it doesn't exactly line up. The satin stitch that's going all the way around our little squares is not lining up properly. Again, do not get caught up on that since that is just because I designed this on my machine itself instead of doing it on the computer. But I just want to show you how to do it. I and mean, this is definitely a beginner's guide. You know, with them little frails, you can always take it lighter and trim it down. If I had it lined up properly, it would have covered that. Um, especially, you know, using the good scissors and cutting super close. But I just want to give you guys a rough idea and especially a video under five minutes. So please like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching.